All right, good morning. Let's grab, let's get that coffee going. All right, so uh, I made a doctor's appointment to talk about uh, my depression coming up on, coming up on a year, uh, the summer, you know, a year of, of just ever worsening uh, emotional condition. So, so I can't keep going. So I uh, went to the doctor, um, contacted a, uh, the last time I went to a therapist uh, with a company I used was, uh, I guess it was awful because uh, the second time around that, that my care provider said, we've gotten, we've gotten rid of those folks and you'll like these folks much better. And I called them up and they, uh, yeah, they sounded amazing. They're like, uh, we got all these people for you right now. We got these people, a long list of people that could get on with you on your phone right now. And uh, we have a list of people in your area that you could uh, then go see a few of them and figure out if there's anyone that you'd like to, you know, actually go see, go to their office and sit with them and, uh, and they'll pay for it. So, so, uh, I got a prescription today is the day that I picked that up and, uh, start that and I'm nervous about it. There's, you know, possible side effects. So, uh, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound good, you know, to go through it, but like, the doctor said, like, you know, six weeks from now, you're going to feel uh, so much better, you know, so there's a, uh, there's talk about getting like chemically, uh, like when you're depressed, there's, I've heard talk of like your body chemistry becoming like, like if like your emotions are a needle that like you're, if you're depressed long enough, the needle just kind of gets stuck on, uh, at a certain level. I don't know if I believe this though, except for, uh, it seems like I'm crying just as much, if not more often now than I was, uh, last summer, you know, like, or like as much as I was crying last summer when Aquila passed away, uh, you know, that made perfect sense to me. And, uh, now coming up on, um, so as, we, as we hit into spring coming up on summer uh, it doesn't make sense to have no control over my emotions or very very little control the only control I have is to uh, is to not uh, think about the topic and or not uh, talk about the topic and uh, that gets I mean that that might be part of the problem of what sticks if it's true, if it sticks your your mind in a certain way, like you practice not thinking about something, and then how in the world are you going to recover from it? So, so yeah, way much, way more information than I normally share. Uh, but this, I mean, obviously, like I've said it before, but this is for myself. Like the last the last time I was depressed, I filmed it from start to finish, and I watched myself get better, and I watched how I did it. And the very, like when I first started making YouTube videos, actually, um, it was partially an accident because I bought a camera that had a uh, digital recorder in it. I didn't realize it. I just bought. I thought I just bought a digital camera. And uh, but then I was going through a bad time. I was homeless and uh, working awful jobs. And then uh, I lucked onto a. Uh, a, a temporary job it turned into a permanent job and uh, that's where I've been all this time and um, so I'd film myself having fun so at the end of the day when I just felt miserable as fuck I would uh, I'd replay a video of me playing around the Delta with Aquila and uh, laughing and enjoying myself and I'd remind myself that like you know that even in bad times even in a bad day there's good moments in that day and uh, I was thinking that, that that might help again. Like, it's like it snowed yesterday and hailed, and it snowed the day before. So, I don't, I mean, I could actually go to the Delta. I just, what I mean is, like, I'd like to get out and go do some things and walk around and see some stuff, but it's freezing cold, and uh, I'm in the world's lightest car, and I think I would uh, 
if someone spilled some ice cream on the road, I think that I might, I might, my car might slide sideways on it. Uh, I, uh, I don't think I need anything to pick up my pills. I think I just need my ID. I like how more and more things go, uh, take place without you having to deal with it. Like, uh, like paperwork was sent to my, uh, to my work uh, without me having to move it and uh, when they the doctor wanted my insurance and stuff like that like I, I took a photo of everything like my, my phone scans documents and then uh, I sent them everything I needed and I gave answered all their questions filled out all their paperwork uh, gave them my insurance information and it just took a couple minutes on my phone rather than getting those sheets of paper where they asked the same question like seven different times on seven different sheets of paper. That was pretty nice. The lady goes, you're my favorite uh, customer ever. You know, like when I went into the doctor's office. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was kind of funny. Like, it's actually, I'm, uh, I like that. I, I, I realized I surprised myself when I laughed. And, uh, Someone said something last week that was, uh, I don't know if they said something stupid or they assumed that the thing I said was stupid and they took me seriously and went to reassure me. I don't know which it was and I don't want to say what it was, but, uh, afterwards I was by myself and like I'm laughing about it now after I was laughing for like, I don't know, like three, four minutes just by myself and, uh, that felt really good because I, I felt like it. I felt like I was really aware of the fact that it had been a long time since I've just laughed by myself. So it's not all bad. It's not all bad. So even like being nervous as fuck to go take a some medication that's going to make me uh, uh, feel all sorts of these negative things, like with the hopeful an outcome of. Uh, feeling good things are feeling uh, better having a better chance at uh, um, a depression free life like you know worth it worth worth it though frankly you know what uh, if this was summer I think that I would have asked for like a medical leave of absence and uh, hiked the uh, Pacific Crest Trail or something like that I just really feel like that getting completely out of my uh, my normal life patterns and going somewhere completely different and doing something completely different that was like and also like completely demanding and where'd that person go? Um, you know, might might be might be kind of like nature's chemical reset. Did they pull over the homeless camp? That's hilarious. This person passed me on a corner on a no passing zone on a uh, on a road that has steep banks on either side and I'm like oh, what's up with that person and then they're not in front of me anymore and there's homeless camps down there <sighs> you know I think a lot another reason why I make these videos is uh, it feels good to say th it feels good to say things sometimes you know it feels good to say these things out loud things that I'm doing or uh, my goals or something like that makes it more real and I, I, I don't see very many people in uh, my day-to-day -day life or my month-to-month -month life or even my year-to-year -year life like um, I mostly keep to myself uh, which probably like when people say like oh you put your whole life on YouTube like uh, which for one isn't true but probably way more true than most people. Well, I mean, at least, you know, I'm not shaking my ass. <laughs> but it's probably true for most people. But from my experience of talking with most people, of even when I'm the kind of person that uh, doesn't often, uh, you know, get deep with other folks, uh, other folks tell you a lot about their lives, you know, like their marital troubles, their their own troubles with depression. Like, like I think it's that people, like, like, if you're just talking with somebody, they feel like it's just between the two of you, 
And you know, like, it's not recorded or written down or anything like that. You know, it's plausible deniability. Um, but in my case, like, I make a video of myself talking to myself so I can listen to myself. And uh, I find it real valuable. You know, you can talk to other people and get feedback, of course. Um, but there's nothing like, if for as, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing like looking back, you know, a month or six months or six years ago and seeing what you were saying and then asking yourself, like, did I, what did I do about that? You know, or did I, did I, I had that goal, did I ever attain it? Like, is it, it is it attainable now? That's one of the things that I made a video about, um, about home ownership. And I was looking back at it. You know, I was just daydreaming about, like, what, how, what my house would be, what, what I'd want to live. And so I started, I looked back at it, and I, I was, like, wondering, like, you know, back then it wasn't attainable. I wonder if it's attainable now. And I talked to some people, and about that time, actually, was the moment there, all the things that, like, were, you know, like, uh, the stars aligned or whatever. Like, I was financially... Uh, uh, able to do that right at that moment like I, I was it was like within the last couple of that those months was like when the time that I had the money saved up in my savings and an opportunity to take things out of my 401k loan a loan money to myself and uh, yeah so it was kind of uh, it's kind of interesting how that worked out and then I mentioned it uh, the 401k thing I just happened to, whoa, I just happened to mention uh, my goal to somebody and I'm like I hope this is enough and he's like well you could double that with uh, your 401k and it was just, it was a casual thing and I'm like tell me more and uh, they were absolutely right and it took uh, something that I was barely able to do and something that I was able to do uh, it was difficult but um, it was thoroughly possible it was just that was another another instance of the company I was dealing with was uh, so difficult to work with all right, that's enough for now.